Welcome back to another video guys. I'm going to be installing this USB car charger. Um, I'm going to go ahead and remove this right here. I don't need this. What I want is a USB port cable so I could charge my phone and someone else's. And I can also uh, close that one. This one's not closable so it looks pretty disgusting. This one does come with a, a closure for it. Here is the USB port. It's got a lid, two USB port connections, the ring, this outside ring and the interior, uh, I believe it lights up red, which is the interior of my Gobi LED light strips that I have under here. That's red. So I thought this would give it a nice touch of red. And if I don't want it, I could always cover it with this. No lights. All right. This is going to be the connection in the back, positive and negative. I got these connections probably will be end up using this wiring but uh yeah guys so for a model like this this kind of setup what you're gonna have to do is remove this plate right here this plastic piece let's go ahead and pry it out and it pulls back like so so now what we can do is disconnect this left side right here simply disconnect guys you go here to the back see that pin right there just push in to do with one hand grab under here push that pin in and it slides right off there you go what i went ahead and did was i cut i cut these ends off because i'm not going to use this top connection i'm just going to hardwire it into the existing wire on the truck highly recommend you disconnect the negative terminal on your battery because if you are working with electrical components uh you don't want to short circuit anything out I'm gonna set anything up, so let's just remove this real quick. So like I mentioned, guys, I'm not gonna use this towel connection either. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just cut these off. And I'll grab my box cutter. Matter of fact, I'll just take off all this electrical tape. need that no more now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I don't have actual specialty tools to cut wire and all that so I'm just gonna use my box cutter kind of cut pieces around the edge all right guys just like that we got power so I did have to remove this piece right here all right, it's got little ears on the sides, as you can see right here where my thumb is. And all I did was, I just kind of twisted this. I twisted this <clears throat> so that I can break this little, the little ear off. And as I twisted, it was able to come out forward. It came out forward this way. So I pulled it out and I put the new one in. Just put your wires in first and take off this little this little deal right here, this plastic piece, that's what's gonna, um, you're gonna have to twist it and it goes in here and it's gonna back into this plastic piece so it can get nice and tight. It's gonna sandwich it like this. Now my positive is my positive and my negative is my negative. If you can see there, there's my positive. So yeah, just color coordinate, red goes with red. And my black is over here. Black is my black. So once that's all good and done, you can put, <clears throat> you can connect your battery, make sure you're getting power. I wasn't getting power at first, guys. So here's my quick tip. This, make sure you screw it in all the way tight and make sure there's also a fuse in there. There's like a little tiny fuse that goes in here. That's the little small fuse that I'm talking about, guys this one right here make sure it's in and it's and it's not broken this one's still intact so make sure you put that in and screw it in all the way tight because mine was loose and I wasn't getting any power so I retight I took it out make sure that was good make sure this connection is nice and tight and you should get the light on and power going to you to your charger all right now here's the final product now that looks a lot cleaner in my opinion guys 
it's only $13 to do this mod. Bought it on Amazon. Here's the box once again. Um, but yeah, one thing I liked about it was that it just removes that this other nasty one that ain't got no lid. It ain't got no cover on it. I mean, look at that. Just disgusting to look at. And half the time, you don't even want to work. You got to twist it around to make sure it catches good for it to work and charge my phone. But this will be a lot better. So you flip it open, you got power. And again, I got mine red so it can color match the rest of my lighting inside here. Uh, quick phone test. Oh, and also, I, I do believe this will charge my phone a lot faster than the typical small charger. And the reason being is because phone is charging, guys. <clears throat> back, so back to what I was saying. Yeah, 3.0 amp or something like that. You, I've seen videos where it talks about you want to get something that's higher than uh, 2.0. Because if you get them 1.5s or 1.0s, those charge your phone real slow. And if you're having issues to where you're talking on the phone and you're losing power as you're talking while it's charging, you need to get something that's higher, higher output. If you like this video, go ahead and comment, subscribe. Appreciate it.